Welcome to the next video on software engineering. In this video, we are going to talk about user and system requirements covered under module 3 of the software engineering. So, let us start. What do we mean by the term requirement? In simple words, the requirements for a system are the descriptions of what? the services that a system should provide and the constraint on its operation. In some cases, a requirement is simply a high level abstract statement of a service that a system should provide or a constraint on a system. On the other hand, it is a detailed formal definition of system function. These requirements reflect the needs of customers for a system that is going to serve certain purpose such as controlling a device, placing an order or finding an information. So ultimately what exactly is the need of the customer is covered under this term requirement. Now. Coming on to the requirement engineering, what exactly we mean by this? So, it is nothing but the process. Process of what? Finding out, analyzing, documenting and checking the services that a system should provide and the constraints on its operation that we have described previously. That is, this is nothing but the requirement. It is called requirement engineering. So, it is a process of finding out, analyzing, documenting and checking the requirements. Okay. Now, coming on to the user requirement, what exactly we mean? User requirements are the statements in a natural language plus diagrams of what services the system is expected to provide to its system users and the constraints under which it must operate. Okay, the user requirements may vary from a broad statements of the system features required to the detailed precise descriptions of the system functionality. So, the user requirements is a broad statement of the system features or it may happen that it is a detailed precise description of the system functionality. Now, the other requirement that we usually encounter is the system requirements. So, what do we mean by system requirements? System requirements are more detailed descriptions of the software system's function, services and operational constraints. So, it is a detailed description. What exactly are the functions, the services that are going to be provided by the software and what are the operational constraints of it, okay? The system requirement document often called as a functional specification should define exactly what is to be implemented and it may be part of the contract between the system buyer and the software developer, okay? Now, who are the readers of user requirements? As you can see, client managers, system end users, client engineers, contract managers, system architects. Okay. So, the readers of user requirements are not usually concerned with how the system is going to be implemented and they may be managers who are not interested in the detailed facilities of the system. So, just knowing what e exactly is going to be done by the software. Okay. Now, who are the readers of system requirements? System end users, client engineers, system architects, software developers. So, the readers of the system requirements need to know more precisely what exactly are the functions of the system. They are concerned with how it will support the business processes or because they are involved in the system implementation. Okay. So, these are the readers of system requirements. References are these. Thank you for watching.